guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you would before you leave today if you like what you see make sure that you subscribe to my channel I'm very very new to YouTube and I'm trying to get my channel off the ground I do a lot of different things here I own my own beading company Big Bend Beadwork so there's a lot of beading videos I'm training for a half marathon in July so six months from now so there will be some running vlogs. I'm a mom of two little ones and married to a real life cowboy. We live on a ranch in Texas. So there'll be some like ranch day vlogs. And my newest venture is the what's for dinner portion of my channel. This is my second what's for dinner to do. And I've got five really delicious meals for you this week. And next week's got some really awesome meals as well. So if you like any of that stuff, please subscribe, please stick around. We're gonna have a lot of fun on this channel. Thanks for watching. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make a meatloaf. I'm starting with three pounds of hamburger meat. I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of ketchup, two eggs beaten, a half cup of sour cream. I've got a whole yellow onion chopped that I'm gonna add in here. Two handfuls of spinach chopped. I'm gonna to try to sneak some veggies into our dinner tonight. And then I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of salt a little bit of black pepper, and a couple of zhuzhes of Worcestershire sauce. is the best way to mix up a meatloaf is to just get in there with your hands so my hands are clean I've taken my rings off and I'm just gonna get in here with my hands I did want to note my mom adds in um, like bread torn up into pieces to just kind of hold it all together and I used to do that and it's really really good so if you're not eating low carb you can definitely do that but since I'm trying to stay a little bit more low carb I'm not gonna add in the bread but the egg works just as great as a glue I've got a 9 by 13 baking sheet that's lined with aluminum foil. I'm going to spray it with some of my um, H-E-B brand Pam or olive oil. And then I'm just going to dump this in here and try to form a loaf. closer to dinner time now I've got my oven preheated to 350 and I'm gonna pop my meatloaf in uh, for about 45 minutes and then I'll check on it and um, it will collect some grease in here so I'm gonna pour that out when I check it in 45 minutes and probably put it back in for another 15 to let it finish cooking Tonight, we're gonna take these three ingredients and turn them into a really easy what's for dinner. We like to call this one egg roll in a bowl.
tonight I kind of dropped the ball. It's already about three o'clock in the afternoon and I did take these out last night so they're thawed out. They were in the fridge all day but I just stuck them in my crock pot on high. I'm gonna cook these. I don't even tell you what they are. No. Okay so they're these four fajitas boneless skinless chicken thighs. There's four pounds of these so we're gonna use some of them for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna use leftovers to do a recipe tomorrow with. These are usually really good. We we enjoy cooking these, whether it's the thighs or the chicken breasts, but this time I got thighs. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna stick it in here on high, high receive for uh, two and a half or three hours. That should do it. They're pretty moist. I am gonna add a half cup of uh, chicken broth just so they don't dry out too much. And I am going to just stick the lid on this and hope for the best. dinner a little early today it's about 2 30 right now and uh, what I have in this crock pot is our leftover chicken from dinner last night I did end up making four pounds of those fajita chicken thighs that you saw in a previous recipe um, I had a bowl of it my husband had a bowl and went back for seconds and then he had it for lunch again today and we still have a ton of chicken leftover so I'm gonna use the leftovers to do um, chicken enchilada zucchini boats tonight kind of like chicken enchiladas Hi. but with um a little twist so i always add cream cheese when i make my um enchiladas or enchilada sauce so all i have in here is that leftover chicken i have one 10 ounce can of old el paso mild red enchilada sauce and an eight ounce block of cream cheese so i'm just gonna stick the lid on this i've got it on low everything's cooked so it doesn't need to cook on high for any period of time it just all kind of needs to melt and meld together and i'll show you guys what i do with it here in a little bit I've got my three large zucchini here. I'm gonna cut them in half. I'm gonna scrape them out with a spoon to make little boats. I'm gonna put the extra zucchini in this bowl and I don't wanna waste that. So after I fill these with chicken, I'm gonna add this extra zucchini back into my crock pot with the rest of that chicken and just use it for meal preps for the next couple of days for me. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna time lapse this so you don't have to watch me do each one. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. chicken enchilada with cream cheese whatever you want to call it turned out really really good I already snuck a bite so all I'm gonna do is put this in these zucchini boats and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven let them cook for a little while and then I'm gonna top them with cheese and stick them back in and broil them for a couple of minutes just so these are really soft and tender and then we'll probably put some sour cream and jalapenos on top of them once they're done cooking
mentioned previously that with whatever chicken we had left over, I was just gonna add that zucchini back. So there's not a ton of chicken in here. I don't know, maybe a, a cup and a half or two cups of chicken, which is enough for like my husband and I to have it for lunch tomorrow. So I ended up with quite a bit of zucchini left and I'm gonna dump it in here and just stir it around and let it kind of soften up with the rest of that enchilada sauce. And we'll have another meal. This is just the chicken that has kept going forever. The never ending chicken. It's really great. <laughs>
for you today. I hope that you enjoyed that. It felt like that chicken lasted forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so uh, if you're on a budget and you need something to feed your family for a while, definitely get a ton of chicken and you can, you know, use it a million different ways. But we were very glad uh, that it was gone and that we can move on to the next protein portion. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Stick around. I'll be posting another what's for dinner next week. I've got a belt that's almost done on the loom where I'm adding string into it. So if you are here for the beadwork portion of my channel, that's coming soon. Um, I'm going to do a running vlog at the end of January and kind of track that. I did a five mile run yesterday. That is a big part of my vlog for the month. Um, anyway, so stick around. Thanks for watching. Bye.